Hey, what's happening, guys? We're going to redesign the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico board. You guys didn't seem to care much for the form factor. So we're going to take care of that today. And I think I figured out the problem. I think I had these reversed. If you take a look here, pin 4, which on this particular OLED, let me get the focus. Come on. Yeah, pin 4 is SDA, which goes to pin 1. But when we look here on the screen, I've got pin 4 going to pin 2. So we're going to need to change that. That'll be our first change here. So I will make those changes real quickly here. So four. Goes to one. And three, which is the clock. goes to two. All right, let me save that. And we'll move on to uh, redesigning the board. All right, so let's get this uh, in a better orientation here. Need to make sure that these are aligned. Whoopsies. That was vertical centers. There we go, horizontal centers. Then I need to check and see how far apart they need to be. So to do that, I'm going to look at my old board. Then I can just take a measurement from the center of the holes. Eighteen point four one seven. So that is about right. That's pretty good for a guess, huh? Then we can bring these in, and you guys said you wanted them on the outskirts, more like this. So we can do that. And then they also wanted the OLED put down here like this. So we'll do something like that. And we need some mounting holes. So we'll put our mounting holes in. All 
I know this isn't terribly exciting, but I guess some people like to see the actual design process. This is just the way it goes. So far, so good. I'll just make sure that all of these are aligned with their horizontal centers, and they are. Do a quick save. Then I'm going to put some labels on them. Okay, the labels are added. So far, it looks pretty good. The other uh, request I got was to uh, add a switch to short run to ground. So let's do that. So from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need a switch between ten and eight. Alright, there's our switch. So we need to hook up one side between pin 8. Uh oh. And one side between pin 10. We'll save that. We'll update our PCB. Uh oh, updated the wrong PCB. Hang on a second here. Okay, so, so far I, I think we're pretty good. Next, we'll route it out. Alright, auto router, run, and we're nice and routed. Let's save that. put another label on it This is version 2, 3, 9, 20, 21. Save that. 
a look at the 3D view. Yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. What color should we make this one? The board is green. The last one we did was green. How about we make this one black? Cool. One more save just to make sure we didn't screw anything up and let's order it. We'll be ordering from PCB Way. PCB Way is the major sponsor of this channel and they make these videos possible. So I ask you to, you know, check them out if you need some PCBs made. So let's add our Gerber file. This is called Pi Pico Breakout. And let's see, single piece, one design. 55 by 80. We have five of them. Two layers, FR4. Standard thickness. Actually, the whole size solder mask. So we're going to do this one black. Silk screen is white. No edge connectors. We'll accept the hassle if they have to do it. And you can see here four to five days total from orders forty dollars or five dollars shipping I'm choosing DHL which is nineteen dollars which is going to give me a total of twenty three dollars you're you know you can all obviously choose other methods FedEx PCB way Express EMS China Post e packet whatever you want so you can get it down to you know sixteen dollars DHL is fine for me. They do good work. And we'll save that to the cart. Now we just have to wait about a week till we get these bad boys back. So I'll be back in a, a week. But for you, it'll just be a blink of an eye. So it's been like a week. And our boards are back. Let's have a look. Hopefully my uh, spacing is good. I left room for everything. Maybe, maybe not. The only way to tell is to unpack them and put them together and have a look. They do some mighty fine vacuum packing there at PCB Way. All right, so here are the boards. PCC ground, that's the OSDA. I am going to solder on some headers for these bad boys, and we'll give it a test. Uh, should be good. I don't think you guys need to watch me solder on straight headers, do you? Ain't much to it but to do it. Well, all right. There it is. All put together. And how well you can see that. It's running my newly uh, concatenated temperature program that only shows the temperature with one digit. Let's check out the reset button. Connection lost. You stop restart to reconnect. Yay! everything works so I know you guys think I don't listen to you I know you think I'm hard-headed and brutally handsome but um, I do I will make these boards available on the PCB way website I, I think they're going to be useful because now at least you can see what your pins are if you're doing some quick prototyping 
you don't have to count so much. So that's pretty cool. I'd like to thank PCBWay again for sponsoring this video. And I would like to thank you right there in your chair in front of your computer and you watching it on your phone right there. You sitting on the couch, not so much. I'm just kidding. I want to thank every one of you guys. I wouldn't be here without you. So if you enjoyed this again, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.